Hey, so I'm about to do the Make It Rain event. Uh, I actually waited for the sun to come up for this video, so it won't be like dark. Can't see anything, but now I just realized the whole event's gonna be in the Gold Saucer anyway, so... It's gonna be kind of pointless. Anyways, let's get this started. Talk to this person, Kipe. I can't pronounce her name. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna pick the last option. That seems like some unique option. Nagi is, um, from what I remember, was from The Rising. From last year. It's her, like, little brother or something. I just wanted to take a look at the booth area here, or whatever this area is called. Just to see what they have here. They have some decorations and just one NPC. Alright, and it's just telling you to go to the Gold Saucer. Although I guess the event doesn't really start from the Gold Saucer, so... People from the different like city-states, if you're a new player and you just talk to the guy, it's like, oh, go to the Gold Saucer. You might not know of the... The seasonal quest or whatever the the quest chain it starts in Oda, you know. Well, anyways, uh, let's go over to the Gold Saucer and uh, start it up. And they've got a few NPCs here. Alright, I guess we're gonna be 
looking for the little mammoth thing. Um... I guess there's two areas that we have to look through, and then there's two areas that they're looking through. So I'm gonna take a quick look to see if I can find the NPCs. Here's actually one of them. I guess here's one of the mammoths we have to look for. Um, guess I'll just pick it up. Another one I had to get anyways. Oh, I guess it progresses the quest. Well, I mean, I guess if it if it um, makes me miss any of the NPCs, uh, I'll find them on my own and I'll cut them in at the end of the video or something like that. This guy actually moves uh, after you find that first mammoth. So this is where the, the Lollafell guy is. Um, I guess I'll check on my alt later on if he says anything different before I pick up that first mammoth. Here's the location of the second mammoth. I guess in terms of hide and seek stuff, you really don't want to face the warrior of light. Because it's got the... Intuition to find things, sparkly things. Oh, the lens over here. I think he's just, uh, he just wanders around, I don't think that's any event specific thing. Alright, anyways, let's uh, go back to the quest location. Okay, these guys, before I complete the quest. Send these things in. Um, description of it is in the bottom right there. So we get the minion in the next part. We just walked like five meters from where we were. 
Oh, this can't be skipped. This is a long one. Oh, I see it's one of those choice ones. Okay, I guess I'll just start from the top and go through them. In terms of like casino type areas like the gold saucer, you know, I've never really liked casinos. I've been to Vegas like six or seven times, maybe even more, but I never really gambled there. Not really of a... Not really of a gambling person, I don't really... I mean, also the whole place smells like smoke, I don't know, I... I just visit the torch traps. And, uh, you know, the restaurants or whatever, but gambling, I'm not too into it. In games, it's fine. I, I find to do RNG stuff in game, but in real life, it's not really my thing. Guess uh, we'll be there again for FanFest. died in the back there. So did he not like explain the name Round Square? I don't know how it's like an oxymoron. Maybe he did in a previous quest. I forget actually. Or maybe Yoshi P mentioned it once as a joke. Like the dueling circle. It's also a square. Oh, I see uh, Jijiru in the back there with his assistant.
There's the other two reporters. I don't know who that lady is. Before I click the last one, I'm just gonna click the nevermind just to see what happens. I guess it just uh, lets you exit out so you can resume anytime. I think I've already seen this before. Alright, uh, I guess let's go back and complete it. Alright, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, are we gonna get the minion at the end here? Looks like it gives us the wind up god work. The description is in the bottom right there. I think this is the only reward for this uh, Make It Rain event. Not light on the rewards this time. Must be like working on 7.0 or something. I mean, they, they rotate the rewards around for all the events. Some events, you know, one event will give the good glamour, you know, every year, and then that will be on a different event in a different year. But yeah, we get an achievement, uh, no titles, and uh, this minion. Try to find it. I have too many minions. <laughs> uh, here it is. Oh, there it is. Um, let me read the description there. There's the hidden text. And let's summon it. Uh, so let me see if it does any special actions. Alright, I've waited a while, it hasn't done anything. Um, so one thing you could do with these puppet type minions, or like the, the you know, puppet, they're called puppets in this game, um, but, uh, is you could switch to the Mammoteer title, and then it gives you, like, some control over them. So they, they could do actions on command, and they, like, kind of walk around. Whereas without this title, they just stand there and do whatever they want. 
Oh, I think I think he was just doing it <laughs> right when I poked him. He was already doing it. Let me poke him again. I guess that's his action. Pretty cool. Yeah, if you don't have the poppet thing on, he just does it randomly, but could, you know, take a while. Um, yeah, I guess that's that's all the rewards for this time. I guess uh, let me go over with my alts to see if I uh, missed anything, any sort of dialogue. Oh, and also I guess there should be some NPCs I should be able to find hidden around here. I'm gonna start searching for the NPCs first. I think the the first one's over here. Get uh, Rowena. Carpenter Guild guy randomly here. I guess he's admiring the, the mountain here. Pretty cool. There's a few Moogles here. I guess watching the Moogle machine must be uh, horrifying. Oh, one of them actually is scared. <laughs> Quarters has relocated over here. First, we've got Jijiru and his assistant. A very uh, thirsty Lalafell. I think she made her appearance at one of the Moonfire Fair events. She's always staring at the muscular people. Like she's staring at someone this time. Who is it? It's uh, the guy playing the Kafakur thing. Alright, pretty cool. Then we got one of the Loprits here. Admiring the statue. Oh, that's just a regular NPC. <laughs> I thought that was someone special. Oh wait, Gerald's here. Interesting. Here's uh, the other reporter. This is like the attendant did that kid from the cutscenes. We're in the background, they're in the background walking around. Although I don't remember seeing the Nikote the dude say that he helped find her. The Makote dude is the, the sister, I mean, the, sorry, the brother of uh, the reporter that we were helping. And he was in like the Rising 2022 event. But yeah, I didn't see him in the background of the cutscenes doing anything, so yeah. Looked like the attendant was doing all the work. But yeah, pretty cool. Throwback. Alright, these uh, Sky Pirates, I don't think they're actually uh, unique to the event. Some people think they are, but... I think after you finish the Void Arc series, they're here sometimes. Uh, so they're not really make it rain specific. But I'll just plug them in here just in case, because some people think they are. So this is more uh, one of my fresher alts, so let's see what she introduces herself as. Oh yeah, she has not met us before. I guess she doesn't even give us the three options. That's interesting. There's a three dialogue options or something on my main character. I think the rest is the same, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. Alright, this time we'll pick the middle option. Uh, the half we met before.
Alright, last but not least, the first option. Get a reporter right. Kip. Uh. Guess they, they know I can't pronounce her name. So I think, um. Garland Tool says that. This guy says something different. Like, it says, Godbert, Godbert, where is the Godbert? Hmm, nowhere it seems. But I can't get him to trigger that text, even though I didn't pick up any of the mammoths yet, or if I pick it up in a different order. So yeah, I don't know how, to, how that triggers, but seems like he just uh, says the other line. So here's what happens when you click I've seen enough when you haven't uh, completed the tour yet. Oh, interesting. It is slightly different. I guess uh, she does the tour without you. It's pretty cool. Nice little detail. <laughs> I like my weird little backwards walk there. I guess uh, the rewards were pretty light this year, but there's actually one extra new item they added, which is uh, not really a reward. It's just something you could buy from the campaign attendant. And you could buy these only in the Gold Saucer um, event times, but I think you could buy it every year. Like all the old year's events items are also here. I think I never really showed these off because these were just kind of like housing items, but maybe I'll just show them all off here right now. So I think I uh, this year is the Grounded Cactar, and that's the first one. Senior it uh, Sabo Tender, that's a minion. I, I did that already in one of the previous years. Um, all these machines are also like, you know, like, so, I think some of them are newly available. I don't know if they're new this year, but, you know. But the Cactar Stool, and the Cactar Round Table, and the uh, Moogle Balloon are also from previous years. I think the Mo Moogle Balloon was like last year, and the uh, Cactar Stool and Round Table are may maybe last last year, I forget. And then also, yeah, the Grounded Cactar is this year. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's uh, let me get to my house and we'll show those off. Alright, so we got the Cactar Stool. You can see the description on the bottom right there. Cactar Round Table. Mogul Balloon. And this here's Grounded Cactar. The place the Grounded Cactar. Oh, it's small. Oh, I guess it's just a pot of plant. Huh. Put this on the table. Yeah. You could probably have someone 3D print a real life pot like that. Um, here's a Moogle Balloon. It's a bit taller. Pretty cool. To the table. Pretty spiky. Uh, why does this thing go on the table? Wait, can I just... Oh wait, it's a freaking stool. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it's a freaking chair. I thought it was like another potted plant kind of thing. A table ornament. Uh, I guess this year's event was pretty short and sweet. Some of the previous Make It Rain events were uh, quite complicated with uh, multiple like branching paths, multiple cutscenes. And uh, like a mystery and everything, so they're pretty cool. I have a whole like playlist of my previous events if you want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.